What is crack a lack and how is everybody doing today? Well, it is absolutely beautiful out here today. Uh, it's about 78 degrees, a little bit warm, but nothing can handle, you know. Um, well, today's story, which gets so steep, is going to be about bear hunting. Now, this story is when the first time that we have tried to go bear hunting, there was me, my two brothers, and my uncle. So it was uh, my uncle, Dave, and then uh, my brother John and my brother Tony. So we all got together and we decided we're going to go bear hunting this year. Well, it was almost last minute, so we didn't have too much time to, you know, prep. So my brother actually took a shotgun with a, um, my brother John took a shotgun with a, uh, pumpkin ball. <laughs> and, you know, so the morning comes and we get up there you know we leave about three o'clock in the morning we get up there and it's probably about 4 30 in the morning you know nice and early in the morning so we drive back this dirt road it's up in the more mountains mind you and like the mountains uh that that we lived around like everything looked the same like <laughs> anywhere you walked it all looked the same so we get up there and there's just a, you know, about an inch of snow on the ground, but it wasn't snow, it wasn't supposed to snow that day. So what we do is, uh, my uncle, he brought, had brought, uh, his, uh, thing that you can fry stuff on. So we had some, uh, fried bologna sandwiches for breakfast up there and, you know, he made some coffee and we stood there and had a cup of coffee with our thermoses and, you know, them goofy, goofy guys, they was putting strawberry jelly on their fried bologna. I'll never forget it. <laughs> I mean, I tried, I tried it, but it wasn't too bad, actually, so. But I like uh, mustard and cheese on my fried bologna. I mean, I don't even know how many people actually eat fried bologna, <laughs> tell you the truth, you know. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, it was us four, you know, because, um, I can us four, we, we did, you know, I mean, a lot together. We hunted together. We fished together, you know. So we get up there and we decide, well, me and my brother John, we're going to go one way. And my uncle and Tom was going to go the other way. Well, we did that, you know, and we actually took lunch with us so we didn't have to come back out the woods, you know. Well, here around noon, it starts snowing. And I mean, this snow was barreling down. Now, since we was bear hunting, we actually had walkie-talkies, okay? And we had pretty decent ones. They, they did two, two and a half miles. So, we get... Like, we went in separate directions, so, you know, we get far enough out to where, you know, I can hear him key up on the CB, but I actually couldn't hear him. Like, it, you know, I mean, it was, like, robotic, and you couldn't even understand nothing, nothing. So, it's about an hour before dark, and they start keying up on this thing. And I tell John, I says... I can't hear what they're saying, man. I can't understand what they're saying. I don't know if they're up at the truck ready to go or what. I told you, I was like, because they're probably not going to go off. Because I, I was driving a little K car at the time, you know, that um, of my grandfather's. And uh, so my uncle probably, my uncle was driving his pickup truck. She probably didn't want to go down off the mountain, if you know I me, mean, if they needed to go off the mountain with me driving the car because... I mean, by now, the snow, I mean, you're, I mean, it, it never slowed down, man. <laughs> about an hour before dark, we had probably about eight inches. So, we, uh, me and my brother John, we decide, well, we got about 
you know, a half hour walk out of the woods anyway, half hour, 45 minutes out of the woods. So we're getting, you know, closer to the car. And uh, now we can hear him keying up the uh, mic, you know what I mean, hitting the alert button. I told John, I said, well, they're hitting the alert button, you know. And uh, I come on here, I'm like, hey, Dave, what's up? I said, we're almost at the car now. Are you guys waiting on us or something? He comes back. We don't know where we're at. I'm like, oh my goodness, not up here. We don't know where we're at. I'm like, man, I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? I don't know where they're at, and I can't follow. You know, he was like, well, we didn't put no pins in the trees, which me and my brother John, you know, what I mean, we had uh, we put our thumbtacks in the trees, even though it wasn't snowing. He said, we didn't pin no trees because it was snowing. I'm like, oh, man, you know, them little thumbtacks. And uh, he was like, our fruit porch are gone. Well, yeah, they're gone. There's eight inches of snow on the suckers. And uh, so, I mean, my brother John from first place told me he wasn't going hunting with me no more because, well, bear hunting anyway, because I'd be standing there behind him, and I was like, bro. Don't move. There's a bear right behind you. And he had that little shotgun, man. <laughs> He's like, man, you better quit doing that. And then I would, I walked into uh, a little cave thing. Almost looked like a bear den. And I was in there roaring and shit. And, yeah, I was just having me a good old blast. You know, that's what, what y'all know. That's what kind of person I am. You know what I mean? I like to be funny. But my brother John's like, there's something wrong with you. I'm never going bear hunting with you again, bro. So... He says, I said, well, we'll walk out to the road a little bit more. I said, uh, hold on. So we, you know what I mean, we left the car in the truck. We walked out, out the dirt road, which was, you know, probably about 100 yards or so. And I says, well, can, you know what I mean? I'm going to yell. Let me know if you can hear me. So I yelled. Let me know. I mean, I can yell pretty loud. Can't hear you. So I told my brother John, I said, John, whistle, see if they can, because he whistles with his fingers, and I mean, that shit, it, it's ear piercing. He said, they didn't hear it. I'm like, oh, man. So how far out are these guys? I'm like, well, I was like, um, my brother Tony was hunting with the 7MM Win Mag, and I'm like, tell Tony, shoot that gun up in there. He shot that gun up in the air. And I'm telling you, it sounded like they was like miles and miles. I'm like, oh my God, because I could barely hear it. And that, that sound of bitch is loud. I mean, loud. So, I mean, the long story short, we keep on talking to them and talking to them, you know. And uh, I'm like, well, I'll shoot up in the air. And anyway, I think I had an odd six at the time with me. So I shot up in the air. And my brother Tony said, well, I can hear where you're at. I said, which direction the gun's at? He said, I'll follow it. I'm like, all right. So we keep on talking to him, man. And Dave, my Uncle Dave, like, he's starting to get nervous, you know what I mean? He's like, man, we ain't going to make it out of here before dark. And if you don't make it out of here before dark, you ain't never going to find your way out. Because, I mean, it's bad enough in the daytime, you know what I mean? I don't know why they wasn't pinned. So... You know, I'm talking to him and talking to him, and I'm me and my brother John. We're standing out there on the road, and Dave's starting to get nervous. You know what I mean? And uh, my brother Tony, he's goofy anyway. He don't care if he gets stuck in them woods. He's laughing about it. And uh, that's what Tony told him. Well, if we have to stay here, man. We'll stay here and make a fire. And he, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, man. My brother Tony, he don't give a shit. And uh. Like, he's one with the woods, you know what I mean? He's like Davy Crockett or something, whatever you want to call him. Well, uh, so, I mean, probably about an hour and a half ago, and I'm like, you guys need to quit stopping, and, well, probably, no, about 45 minutes go by, and I'm like, you know, guys need to quit stopping and taking breaks and come on. He was like, we ain't stopped not one time. And my brother Tony said, Dave's walking so fast, you know what I mean? So, I mean, they must have been, like, back here, back here. 
And uh, I'm like, why would they walk that far back there? Knowing that we're in the mountains, it can snow anytime, even though we're not calling for snow. And, you know, it's still snowing, still. Like, at this point, we probably got close to a foot of snow, man. Like, um, it was up to, like, the bumper of the K car. You know what I mean? Um, it's Dodge Aries, you know what I mean, the K car. But, uh, <laughs> so we're standing there, and right, I mean, it's almost dark, but you can still see. I see them pop out of the woods down on the road. I'm like, I don't know. Heck, did they get on the other side of the road? So they get up closer, man. And I, I looked at my uncle. This dude looked like the bomb on snow, man. I'm telling you, because like he's he's tall already. Like he's like six five, six six, something like that. And uh, he had a beard. You know what I mean? It was all iced over. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it was all filled with it. was that snow all over him. You know, I mean, his beard was iced over. You know, my brother standing behind him laughing, and I'm like, "You guys are goofy, man." So, I mean, it, it was a fun time. That was one of the funnest times I ever had hunting in my life. You know, what I mean, I still pick on my uncle, and you know, what I mean, I, to this day I pick on him because he thought that he was going to have to stay in them woods. You know what I mean? But I would have went. I would have went and found you. Know, I mean, game warden, game commission, or something first. I wouldn't have let him stay out there in the woods. But um, it was one of the greatest times I had hunting. You know, you know, a lot. Of, I got a lot of fishing stories and a lot of hunting stories, man. I could share with y'all, and most of them have to do with you know. I mean, probably my uncle, or my brother Tony, my brother John. Most of them will, you know. But. Um, all right, y'all. I know this wasn't a very long uh, video, but today's Sunday, and I'm going to go back up here in the house, and I'm going to relax, and uh, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. I hope you have an awesome day, man. Uh, hit that like button for me. Hit the uh, share my videos. Leave down in the comments anything you want me to talk about or you know, anything like that, you want me to go check something out down here, I will, as long as I ain't too far away, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber, you see that little bell right there, hit that little bell, every time I upload a video, your stuff will light up, it will sing, it will ding-a-ling, it will ring, it will do whatever it's supposed to do whenever you get a notification, yes, it's turning your notifications on, that way you will never miss one of my uploads, alright, y'all, I hope you have a great, great and wonderful day. This is Schizo Steve. For now, I'm out. Later.